so in this module we will talk about what are web frameworks what are the features of the web frameworks and what are the architectures of the web framework so what is a web framework now web framework is not about how to do certain things this is the answer which i got recently when i was interviewing some web developers web frameworks are the tools which automatically write the code for you automated coding instead of you typing everything making mistakes making miscalculations so these web frameworks do these things for you as a developer so that you can spend more of your time doing useful things about your work which is developing the application so what do we cover in this module this is as follows so what are the web frameworks what are the types of web frameworks what are their features and what are the architecture that we will be covering so what what we have so what is a web framework a web framework is a software tool okay the software tool to build and run web web applications without you doing miscalculations okay without you doing making mistakes okay and you have to be focusing on your work instead of writing and fixing the code another advantage of web frameworks is that instead of being tied to a certain application developer that this application developer is going to fix this so when you are working with a web framework you are independent of that certain developer okay you are not bothered by that certain developer because that coding was automated and of course availability of specific languages which help you generate static as well as dynamic web pages so these are some of the benefits of having the web frameworks and why do we have and why do we use the web frameworks in the first place so the types so there are basically two types of web framework the web framework which is at the client side and the web framework which is the server side so we have this server side okay which is the back end back end and we have this client side which is the front end this is the front end right so what are the attributes and features of these web frameworks for the server side you can make simple forms because the main purpose is the functionality with this functionality you put the business logic business logic over there and of course it improves the security security is very important especially in the cloud environment and some of the examples of server side web framework now for the client side web frameworks javascript based there is no business logic why because this business logic is there in the server side framework you can create new user interfaces these interfaces were not there okay because that was the server side framework and of course you can create animated features also so there is lot of things lot of functionality lot of interesting things which can be done for the client side frameworks and these are some of the examples of the client side frameworks angular ember.js vue.js and so on so you see there lot of their things are in the market for you to develop those wonderful web enabled back end database applications so now we have cross functional web frameworks also so example is meteor okay which is for the client side as well as the server side okay and you don't have to do any merging then it has a real time feature also that when you make changes at one place those changes are reflecting elsewhere also that is the benefit of using meteor then now there are these light weight solutions there are monster solutions also which have lots and lots of functionality with these light weight applications frameworks okay you have narrow specialization it does not have lot of functionality that is the purpose of a lightweight web framework now to make that lightweight work framework work for you more effectively you can extend using third party applications 
you can use the third party application with the lightweight framework to add more functionality. So the architecture, the architecture is you decompose into several layers which extend the functionality and helps you integrate. And of course, there are open source communities, commercial organizations providing applications for popular frameworks that the list I have given you. And these frameworks follow this MVC model. Okay. So we have this MVC model. We have this data and business logic. For V, we have this visual representation of data, convert data into concept forms. So we have all of these things in this architecture. So what are the features in the next slide? The features of this web framework is web caching. The benefit of web caching is that you don't have to go to the server for everything and it gives performance. And of course, it provides you security is the feature. And you can develop the blogs, okay? Or you can develop the content management systems over here also. And you can have management of these web templates. So, lot of features are there. And that is the reason why web frameworks are popular. And that is the reason why I have included web frameworks module in this course for you. That is all for this module. Thank you very much.